Jeg tror han synes det er artigt at springe og sige af. friends and welcome to in on its and to this little December vlog where I show you some of the things that I've been up to uh, until now in December we are well into uh, December now it is um, second week of December and I hope you're doing well I am and uh, me and my family, we have had some busy days, but we have been able to do some Christmas cookie baking. Um, have made a couple of different kinds so far and I plan to spend tomorrow, which is Saturday, to bake putetlepse, which is um, soft flat bread. Uh, made out of potatoes and flour and um, last weekend we spent with my immediate family my parents and my brother and his family uh, together at my parents place in the mountains and that was a very enjoyable weekend um, up in the snow we do some did some sledding and we had lots of fun and celebrated my father's birthday uh, here where I live we don't have any snow right now we have quite mild temperatures and there's really nothing that reminds us about the fact that we are soon uh, to celebrate Christmas um, other than, you know, the darkness. <laughs> it's, uh, 
uh, it gets really early dark. Um, but that's that's how it is. We are used to it, and we we spend this time um, lighting a lot of candles inside and lamps and creating a cozy indoor uh, environment. Uh, I have been doing some advent knitting and uh, I'm really enjoying making ornaments now. Uh, so the mini mittens are a free pattern. It is available from the Brooklyn to Weed website. Um, the mini sock is just something I knitted based on the sock pattern I have in my head. <laughs> I just scaled it down and I made a little eye cord on top to hang it on the tree eventually. Here in my family it's tradition to await putting up the tree and decorating for Christmas until the 22nd or 23rd of December. So that will be coming later. I also have knitted a couple of Christmas balls. Um, these two are um, knit up from a pattern by Arne and Carlos uh, from their pattern book called 55 Knitted Christmas Balls. So these will be steamed and filled and then they are ready to be hanged on the tree. The last thing I have been knitting on is a little blue bird of happiness, which is a super cute little pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, uh, which I can really recommend. It is quick to knit up, and uh, it is also supposed to be filled. So, uh, and then I usually make a loop uh, on top of it to hang it up uh, somewhere. I've also been knitting up several of these in the past and gifted them away to friends and family. And I am in the process of making a second one here. So yeah, I have been having lots of fun making these cute ornaments and uh, I plan to make uh, a few more before Christmas. I've also been knitting a lot on my mitered square blanket. It is the one that I started a couple of years ago I believe. It is supposed to be for my son uh, but he has kind of lost interest in it so um, I'm not sure if he still wants it or not, but I will complete it and uh, I'm working a square a day. Unfortunately now I have broken my needle, so I need to dive into my needle stash and see if I can find another 3mm needle suitable for this project. Oh, and this sweater is a store-bought sweater, so it's nothing that I have uh, knitted myself. I do hope that you are having a lovely December and that you're staying safe and well and that, you, and that you're doing some nice festive or seasonal knitting, whether you celebrate Christmas or not that you enjoy this time of year where you live. I hope to see you next week for our regular podcast. And until then, take care. Bye.